So many of us right here in the newsroom have really been feeling the effects of the smoke lingering in the air. Headaches, difficulty breathing, you name it. News 5 meteorologist Lauren Brand explains what air quality alerts and indexes mean and when to be concerned about your health. Many of us have been feeling the effects of the smoke that lingers in the air. Hazy conditions have now lasted over 24 hours and will continue into Wednesday. Air quality alerts have remained in place until 9 a.m. Wednesday. This includes El Paso, Pueblo, Teller, Fremont, and other counties. Now when we talk about air quality alerts and index, what does that even mean? Let's say we were to take a cube of air from our atmosphere like you have here on your screen. There is a multitude of different pollutants in our atmosphere that scientists will look for to help determine the air quality. Some of the main pollutants include ozone and particulate matter. You will often hear them measure these pollutants in parts per million. Parts per million will measure how many milligrams of pollutants are in a square meter of air or our little cube that we have here. This would be similar to a cup of water within a swimming pool. But this is not super helpful when you're trying to determine if you should take action to protect your health. So we use the air quality index. The air quality index helps to determine how many pollutants are in the atmosphere so you can better protect your health. Several pollutants could be harmful to your health and will help to create the air quality index. Now let's go through the actual index. When we have a range from 0 to 50 AQI, it's considered satisfactory. 51 to 100 is acceptable. 101 to 150 starts to affect more sensitive groups such as children or the elderly. Once we get above 150 AQI, most people will start to see the effects and it becomes a hazard. With all of the smoke in Colorado, along with high levels of ozone, we are at a slightly unhealthy level for our AQI. This means sensitive groups might be more affected by the poor air quality. Our First Alert 5 weather team is here to make sure you are weather aware and stay safe. Meteorologist Lauren Brand, News 5.